Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me for any reason, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing a model launched at Basel World 2013. This is the Breitling Aerospace Evo, the latest installment in a long-running series of professional-grade pilot's watches made by Breitling. Now, the watch you see here is 43 millimeters in black DLC titanium and 11.1 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 51.7 millimeters with a broad 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll zoom out a little bit here, get a better sense of the watch on my wrist. You can see it wears well. Even though it's a large watch at 43, it doesn't feel large. It's quite thin, super light. And as you can see, the watch, though broad across the wrist, isn't excessively so, and there is a little bit of downward curve to the lugs. So the fit of this watch should be perfect on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. Conference, and part of that is down to the slim profile and super low weight of the watch. Taking a look at the hardware and the software, you can see right here we have a lovely textile strap. It is actually, as you can see, quite thickly bolstered. A lovely, I would call it a dark olive green with a monotone stitch, double minders, a matching no-nonsense DLC pin buckle, a simple case band. As you can see, the case itself though rife with nuance in some respects, is overall quite slender, and I'm fine with that. I don't need another super thick sports watch in the collection, but just about everyone has room for a multifunction quartz. And this is the thing, as true tool watches, utility watches, professional watches, luxury quartz has no equal. This watch can do things that a Navitimer, a Chronomat, a Speedmaster Professional never will, and I'm going to show you all of that in a moment. Take note that the watch features conversion factors on the reverse side, and of course, 100 meters water resistant with a unidirectional rotating bezel, the watch can actually pass muster for light duty aquatic work. No problem scuba diving or swimming with this watch. It is up to the task. Not a dive watch, but capable of handling the roll. Now you can see it is a very simple case and bezel combination, but I talked a little bit about the nuance and that starts to come through in the bezel construction. You can see the bezel is actually fixed to the case using screws. This is called a captive bezel, and it makes it almost impossible to accidentally snap the bezel off by violence or accident. The screws must be removed before the bezel can be removed. There are rider tabs on the bezel, chronomat style, that allow you to more easily grip the bezel when your hands are wet, sweaty, or gloved. And then the dial features applique, quarter Arabic numerals, 12, 3, 6, and 9, and it is a gray matte finish with white on gray, high contrast printing, Breitling wings at center, and then we have a analog and digital display system. The movement inside the watch, flip it over so you can see, Breitling caliber 79, so V is DLC titanium, and then 79 means it is caliber 79, and then three means it's chronometer certified. So the movement in here is based on the ETA Thermaline series of watches, the 988 series. It is quartz, it has a three to four year power reserve with an end of life indicator, so it'll let you know when it's running low on battery power. It features a COSC chronometer certification and thermal compensation, which is extraordinarily rare, meaning that this watch is what Breitling calls super quartz, or accurate to within about 10 seconds per year. Now, the timepiece pivots on seven jewels. It is watchmaker serviced, and of course, a lifetime movement for a lifetime watch. That's the difference between luxury quartz and disposable quartz. Luxury quartz is renewable. It has 12 and 24 hour formats. It features analog as well as digital. It has a programmable countdown timer that counts down from a set period of time to an alarm, and then it has a time of day alarm, whereby you set a time of day and the alarm sounds at that time. The alarm is loud at 70 decibels. It also features a chronograph, a second time zone. It has a minute repeater, a perpetual calendar, and a backlight. I'm going to demonstrate all of this. We may as well demonstrate the minute repeater first. Now, of course, the watch is designed to be audible in a cockpit, so if you tap the crown at the time, you will hear the chime, and that's the idea. You don't have to look at the watch in order to avail yourself of that feature. Now, you can see we have analog and digital. We have two different time zones. We have the alarm. We have the chronograph. We have 
yet another independently settable time zone. We have the countdown timer, and we have a perpetual calendar, including running seconds. Now, the watch also includes a backlight that I'm going to demonstrate now. As you can see, it does include conventional Luminova, so you don't need to run the backlight to be able to take advantage of the watch's functions. That is the backlight. It works like so. And the backlight is NVG night vision goggle compatible, so it will not blind you if you are wearing night vision goggles. Please reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.